Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of a case of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. This is a genetic condition that occurs when there is mutation of the gene that encodes the polycystin protein. The exact mechanism of cyst formation is still unknown, but what we have is multiple cysts that occur in any part of the nephron. Sometimes these cysts become disconnected from the nephron. So what we can see in the renal parenchyma are these numerous cystic structures that are of varying sizes. And taking a closer look, we can see that these cysts are lined by relatively uniform cuboidal cells. And sometimes the lining cells can be quite flattened, especially in the larger cysts. So let's move around and look at a few more of these cystic structures. And again, we can see this very bland cuboidal lining epithelium. In this area, we can still see a few glomeruli and you can see that the Bowman's space is actually dilated. Here is a sclerosed glomerulus, which can be seen in this condition, especially later in life. And in other areas, we can appreciate that there is significant tubular atrophy associated with interstitial fibrosis. And there is also mild chronic inflammation in the interstitium. These patients may actually retain their renal function until mid-adult life. So for example, in the fourth to fifth decade, they can start to experience progressive renal dysfunction and this can eventually lead to end-stage renal disease. These patients are also more prone to urolithiasis as well as urinary tract infections. And the kidneys can be as large as several kilograms with these numerous cysts dotted throughout the parenchyma. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease can also be associated with cystic disease of other organs such as the liver, the pancreas, the spleen and even the lungs. And of note, these patients are also at risk of having intracranial berry aneurysms as well as aortic aneurysms. So in summary, this is an example of autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. We have numerous cystic structures that originally arose from the nephrons and these cysts are lined by cuboidal to flattened epithelium. The intervening parenchyma shows tubular atrophy with interstitial fibrosis and mild chronic inflammation as well as glomerulosclerosis and this condition can eventually lead to progressive renal dysfunction and renal failure. Thank you.